Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and at version 2.23, we have got a brand new preview feature, which will help you to filter JSON data. So you might have columns of type JSON in your database. For example, in Postgres, you might have a JSON B column, and the type that you would use in your Prisma schema would be JSON. This is just a field where you can store JSON objects without abiding by any kind of schema for them ahead of time. And this is useful if you want to store data that you don't really know the shape of. So for example, you might make requests to a third-party API and you want to store the results that you get back, but you don't necessarily know the shape of that result before you get it. Instead of going through every possible scenario and constructing a database schema that would give you every possible shape of that result, you can just take that data, store it in a JSON column, and then use it later if you need it. So this is a good use case for JSON, and now there's a way to filter through the data that you've got in your JSON columns with Prisma. So let's opt into it. We can do preview features and say we want to get filter JSON as our preview feature. And then we can run MPX Prisma generate to get the latest version of our clients with the JSON filtering capabilities. We've got some data in a database right now. I'm going to give a look into the seed.ts file that I've got here. This data is already in a Postgres database that I've got locally. But what we've got here is some different app metadata for for each user. So for the first user here, John Doe, it's just a simple set of three properties and values. But then down here, Jane Doe has got a little bit more app metadata. And then it's a bit different here for my user account. So the point here is that the JSON type doesn't require any kind of shape ahead of time. This can be different depending on who the user is. It doesn't have to be strictly one shape or another. And now there's a way to look for specific fields within our app metadata in this case and bring back results based on what we're looking for. So let's take a look at that. We can go over now to server.ts to find what we want in our user data. Let's start just by running a typical find many to get all of our data back. So let's do npm run dev. And what we get back are the three users we've got in the database. So now let's filter through these users based on what's in that app metadata column. And to do that, we can provide a where clause. And we can look for app metadata. And this is the new bit here. We want to look for a path, a specific path within our app metadata. And what we can look for, for example, to start with would maybe be the role for a user. So let's look for role and let's look for it where it equals admin. So if we save that and come down, we should just see two users. And indeed we do, we've got John and Jane, they have a role of admin, so we get their results back. And now we can take a look at how we might put this together with a little bit more of a deeper dive into this data. So sub account is this kind of sub object on this app metadata, we can look into that that if we provide an array. And if we provide sub account as the first string here in our array, and then let's say we want to get logins. So we can say logins where they are greater than or equal to, let's say 40, something like that. If we do that, we get one user because Jane Doe has 57 logins, and I believe it was something like 33 for the other user that had any logins at all. So if we wanted to look for anyone who's got logins, there we go, there's the other user, my user in this case, with 33 logins. So the cool thing that we can do here too is we can start to put these together based on multiple different factors within our JSON data. And to do that, we can use the AND operator. So and looks like this, we can supply an array to and, and we can put this app metadata bit that we've got here into its own object. And then we can copy it to have two factors of what we would want to search for in our app metadata. So let's take an example here. Let's say we want to have role, sub account rather, sub account role, we want that to equal user. So let's come over here and let's say that equals user. 
And then we'll just keep app metadata, sub account logins. We want 40 or more logins. If we do that, we get our single user. And that's because we've got this role of user for both of the users that have some sub account information, but only one user has greater than 40 logins. If we put this down to 30, we've got both users there. So this is a great way to filter through your data if you've got JSON columns. And you can use the other great Prisma features that would be expected in a find many, something like select. So you can select, for example, first name, that's true. Last name, we'll set that to true as well. And if we do that, we just get the selected data that we want. So we invite you to give JSON filtering a try. Let us know what you think. And if you find any issues, please let us know on our GitHub. You can find us on Twitter, twitter.com slash Prisma and github.com slash Prisma as well. Thanks for watching.